Buto City is on Kyushu Island in the west of Japan. It has a warm climate and rich farmland. We headed to a local gymnasium built over 30 years ago to meet the Takumi or innovator who created its cutting edge air conditioner. Hello. Hello. This is our Takumi, Takanobu Murakami. I was told that I could find a highly sophisticated air conditioner here. Yes, our product was just installed here today, in fact. Would you like to see it? We were shown inside. Oh, it's so cool in here. Extremely different from outside. Very, very cool. We visited on August 12th. The temperature outside had hit 37 degrees Celsius. In contrast, inside the gym hall, it was 27.9 degrees Celsius. Around 28, a difference of 9 degrees. So where is the machine that is cooling this huge space? The air conditioner is actually installed along the walls. Oh! It's very cold! Behind the bars are a row of pipes. These are the air conditioner. Made of aluminum, they line the walls. I held a piece of paper up in front of them, but... No wind! The system doesn't emit any cold airflow like a regular air conditioner, but it still cools the space. How is this so? This air conditioning system uses far infrared rays. Far infrared rays are a form of light that heats objects when it hits them. The warmer something is, the more far infrared rays it emits. Objects with a lower temperature absorb the far infrared rays and their temperature rises. When it is used as a heater, 45 degree hot water is run through the pipes of the Takumi's device. The far infrared rays they emit give off heat and warm the body. So how does it cool us down when it's used as a cooler? We used a thermographic camera to measure the temperature distribution in the gym hall. Areas where pipes are located show the blue. We measured the temperature of the pipes. It was 7 to 10 degrees Celsius. Compared to when the system is off, you can see that both the human body and the floor are cool. So, what is the principle behind this? When you run 7 to 10 degree cold water through the pipes, their surface temperature changes to match that temperature. This radiant air conditioner then absorbs our body heat and cools the temperature down. That's the theory behind it. The moment our body emits heat in the form of far infrared rays, it is snatched away. But usually we are receiving the far infrared rays emitted by many other objects at the same time. So our bodies don't necessarily cool down. The Takumi's device absorbs the heat emitted by our bodies in the form of far infrared rays. The heat is carried out with the flowing water in the pipes. The device keeps its low temperature and keeps the body feeling cool. When you enter a tunnel, you feel cooler, right? It's like our body heat is absorbed by the tunnel walls. The subtle, quiet coolness of this system is similar to that of a tunnel. The system is particularly suitable for indoor sports such as badminton and table tennis, where wind can affect the game. Uto City is making efforts to attract international badminton tournaments. In addition to these benefits, the Takumi has also strived to make the system operate using less energy. It is installed in a nursery school and elderly care facility. The elderly care center unit only uses 23% of the electricity consumed by a conventional air conditioner. So it is a real energy saver. The Takumi started working on developing eco-friendly air conditioning in 2004. 
There were many ups and downs along the way. The first system he developed needed 8,000 liters of water to cover a space similar to the gymnasium, and it guzzled power. But the Takumi was determined to create an energy-efficient system. He had a breakthrough when his son handed him a cold can of drink one day. It gave him the hint he needed about how to save energy. Try swirling the liquid inside. Oh, it's cold! Yes, it is, isn't it? Really cold. This inspired me to think, if I run liquid only along the surface, the heat transfer will keep on occurring. It was after this light bulb moment that Takumi created his system. He made a double-walled pipe and ran water only between the two pipes. This way, he only needed 1,600 liters of water without any loss of performance. It was the birth of his highly energy-efficient system. We asked him what was next. The Earth's environmental problems are my biggest concern. My lifelong dream and ambition is to expand the company's eco-friendly systems worldwide. The cooling system is a perfect example of modern technology that applied the ideas behind thatched roofs and earthen floors. And today we have Mr. Murakami here with us. Welcome, it's great to see you again. Thank you for having me on your show again. There are various methods for heating and cooling, so why did you choose to apply radiative technology? I began to feel that global warming was a great danger and found that we emit a large amount of carbon dioxide using air conditioners. If I could develop a system that directly links to our chill factor, it would lead to saving energy. That is why I decided to use radiative technology for air conditioners. I see. Our body heat is interacting with our surroundings in order to maintain the body temperature of 37 degrees, and 40 to 50 percent of that is through radiation. So to use radiation would be a very logical method for bodies to feel the temperature difference. Thank you very much. You mentioned earlier that you got the idea of the double layer structure from a can of juice. Can you tell us more about it? Our equipment requires the presence of a medium in the tube in order to cool or heat the surface. We also need it to move quickly for that. During the time I was looking for ways to meet those requirements, my son handed me a cold can of juice. The moment I touched the can, I had a flash of inspiration. Heat can be transferred by just having the medium flowing through the outer layer. Having the medium flow through just close to the surface offered twofold benefits. One, we don't need the medium flowing through the core of the element, and two, we can increase heat exchange efficiency. I see. For air conditioning, we use about half of the energy on generating the heat and the other half for carrying it across. There are two ways to cut energy for carrying the heat, and one is to cut down the amount, and the other is to slow down the speed. Cutting down the amount of heat is more effective, so this method really is a rational solution to cut down energy. Has there been any new development since the last time I visited you? Yes. After it was introduced in this program, various groups from 12 different countries have made observation trips all the way to Kumamoto Prefecture in Kyushu to take a look at our air conditioner at the gym. We currently have an ongoing project with four different countries. Also, we have installed our system into 10 gym facilities in Japan. Furthermore, we've made proposals for the 2020 Olympic facilities and are looking forward to hearing the results. Since this cooling system is also easy on our bodies, it has potential to spread to other facilities. 
Yes, that's right. Our system does not generate any wind or sound, so it may be suitable for quiet facilities such as libraries. It also is a solution for preventing the spread of infections through air conditioning and is becoming widespread in facilities such as retirement homes and kindergartens worldwide. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much.